You know, the very first time I saw you, Harry, I recognized you immediately. Not by your scar, by your eyes. They're your mother, Lily's. Do you know why I survived, Professor? The night I got this? Because of her. Harry, you are so loved. So loved. Because she sacrificed herself. Because she refused to step aside. Because her love was more powerful than God. Harry, be safe. Be strong. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. Your scar is legend. As, of course, is the wizard who gave it to you. I'd introduce you, but word has it you're almost as famous as me. Harry, Harry who? Harry Potter, of course. Can't be Harry Potter. Holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. The boy who lived. How lies have fed your legend, Harry. Is it true you can produce the Patronus charm? Uh, and you can kill the basilisk with the sword in Dumbledore's office. That's why you're famous. That's why everybody knows your name. You're the boy who lived. I'm going to tell you something. Something others have only guessed at. It's true. I am the chosen one. On the night, Lord Voldemort went to Godric's Hollow to kill Harry. Lily Potter cast herself between them. The curse we back. Old magic, something I should have foreseen. When that happened, a part of Voldemort's soul latched itself under the only living thing it could find, Harry himself. This connection between me and Voldemort, what if the reason for it is that I am becoming more like him? Look at me. I couldn't help but notice certain things, certain similarities between Tom Riddle and me. There's a reason I can hear them. Well, there's a reason Harry can speak with snakes. The Horcrux is ticking or something. Like it's got a heart. I hate it. So like he's here with us. If you could find them all, if you did destroy each Horcrux. One destroys Voldemort. That's why we're gonna kill it. reason you can look into Lord Voldemort's mind. I think I've known for a while. You can't keep letting him in, Harry. Well, I think you have too. You let him in! Harry! Harry, you can't do that! Hermione, I can't always help it! A part of Voldemort lives inside him. I just feel so angry all the time. <laughs> look at me! What if, after everything that I've been through, something's gone wrong inside me? What if I'm becoming bad? What's happening to me? It isn't how you are alike. It's how you are not. So we've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. So when the time comes, the boy must die. Yes. Harry Potter, you must die. The boy who lived, Voldemort himself must do it. Come to die. And that kind of act leaves a mark. Harry, you wonderful boy. Brave, brave man. He lives in your very skin. Love. And she provided the ultimate protection. I could not touch her. The prophecy said, neither one can live while the other one survives. You've kept him alive so that he can die at the proper moment. Potter is a boy, not a piece of meat. It means one of us is going to have to kill the other. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Well, if I were you know who, I'd want you to feel cut off from everyone else. So we.
Louis. Because if it's just you alone. So vulnerable. You're not as much of a threat. We can, we have to lose. After all these years, after all that you've suffered, I didn't want to cause you any more pain. You're a fool, Harry Potter. And you will lose everything. You're the weak one. And you'll never know love, Sirius. Remember this. <laughs> You have friends here. Oh, yeah, Harry. Oh, friendship. If you want to kill Harry, you'll have to kill us too. And I feel sorry for you. You've always admired your courage, Harry. Get behind me! You're a great wizard. You really are. When are you going to get into your head? Maybe you don't have to do this all by yourself, mate. We're in this together. You're not alone. We're gonna make them proud, Neville. That's a promise. I expect you're tired of hearing this. So like your father. And what's the lovers never really leave us? Except your eyes. Look at me. My mother's eyes. You have your mother's eyes. And you can always find them. It is. You shine your light and inspire others to shine yours. Together we will shine. We need to be partners. Nice to have you with us. And we need to actively empower every single person to be the hero of their own life. Be your own hero.